welcome everyone. This is Marie Waite. We are here uh, at the, our called Zoom Talk. And I am so excited to have John Richardson here. I've known John for many years. And John, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Marie. Good, good. So what's going on with you during this time? Well, you know, it's uh, I'm doing things, getting getting ready for when we get back to some semblance of normality and, and really working on some branding projects and some photography projects and um, things that I can do at home, but, you know, will really expand out it as a, as a photographer, I've been doing a lot of branding photography and the shutdown really shut down photography. I mean, it's oh. really hard to go out and, and take pictures of anybody. I mean, most yeah. photographers are, pretty much out of business right now. I mean, especially wedding photographers and because you can't go any place and take take pictures. So people are having to come back in and do other things. So, okay. you know, a, a number of people have done YouTube channels, have done training, have done just working on client projects. So, you know, that's that's kind of what I've been doing is getting ready to you know, for when things hopefully get back to normal. Okay. Well, what so, I know you? Well, um, I'm just doing a lot of uh, meetings uh, with people, doing a lot of Zoom calls. I've been asked to speak in uh, different groups of people. So uh, it's been fun. I am connected to so many uh, great people right now, and we're creating more projects. <laughs> so it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, but I wanted to uh, just let the audience know that uh, you are also a publisher and an author. And if you can just give mm -hmm. some information to people, what you have done so far in terms of your uh, published books, that would be amazing. Oh, sure. Yeah, back in 2008, I, you know, back 2005, I became a blogger and I started blogging. And as a blogger, a lot of people told me, John, you need to write a book. And so in 2008, I started to write a business oriented book and I realized that I actually like to write fiction more than I did nonfiction so in 2009 I per, uh, published my first um, book which was based a lot on personal development but it was written as a fiction novel and I've written three or four others since then and I'm working now on a short story series uh, called detectives on a train and just oh, cool. it's, uh, um, these are really nice because I can publish these myself okay. and I can hand them out and um, you know, the, it, it's just fun. And you know, publishing is, is one of those things that is really complicated till you've done it once and each, whatever, whatever genre it is, it's really, it can be very stressful. But once you've done it, once you've gone through all the steps, then it becomes okay. much easier. And something that I've done since we've been locked down is I've published um, a couple of magazines. I just put together magazines of photographs that I've taken. Oh, wow. And um, just did an online magazine. And it, it basically, have, they're just- Can we get to see it? Yeah, just like this. Um, this one's on branding. Oh, and, okay, cool. You know, it's just, you know, it has pictures and stuff. It, it basically just was a test magazine just to test the concept. And I go through an online publisher and I use uh, some software, Adobe um, software to put it together, but it's a lot of fun, but it was it really a challenge at first because you got all this technical stuff. It's like, oh, I gotta get this picture, this dots per inch and laid out and stuff. But once I did one of them, then it was a lot easier. Okay. Then I did another one that I, I, I did on branding that I did that has this wire bound um, binding spiral on, and it's landscape, yes. you know, so it's, um, you know, it opens up and it's basically a, would be a guide for people for um, some branding ideas that I have. So oh, put wow. this one together and um, tried it out. So, those are some things that people can do. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's as long as you know how to take some pictures and write and put some things together, once you've done it, it's, it becomes a lot easier. And, and a lot of the online publishers now make it real easy. I mean, I just put this together. I upload a PDF 
And three days later in the mail, I get my magazines, however many I want. They're all published. And, and the, the most expensive thing actually is the shipping. Um, you know, some of these magazines are, they cost me a couple dollars a piece, something okay. like that, two or three dollars, and depending on the binding. And it's fun. And for a lot of people, for your business or um, writing stories, that, that's a good way to start. Because, okay. You know, just, so, so do you advise, John, for someone who's trying to build their branding, is that they uh, start with a book, publish a book, and then maybe start working on those marketing materials that you were showing in terms of, you know, putting together a, a photo catalog or a magazine like that? Yeah, it, you know, it depends on the market. You know, what I would start is I would start with more of a smaller pamphlet type book like this because okay. these don't cost much. When you say smaller, I mean, uh, how many pages are we talking about? Uh, like this one has about 50 pages or so. Okay. Um, you know, you can do a smaller six by nine book, maybe a, maybe 80 or 100 pages. You can have it published on Amazon. Mm -hmm. But start with something small that's that talks about um, something that you are uh, knowledgeable in and something that comes from a perspective that only you could present. So whatever your business is, create something, put it in a book format and just publish it. You know, like, like, like say you were a carpenter and you made birdhouses and you, you could print a book up how to make birdhouses for robins. And you could have three robin birdhouses step by step in this book. You publish it and then it becomes kind of an expensive business card basically, but it yeah. gives people an idea of what you do. So, but isn't there uh, some sort yeah. of requirement in terms of publishing a book? You have to have uh, the right, you know, um, format, you know, the uh, sections of the book, and then also the grammar is needed in there and the logical structure of the content. I mean, don't you think those are things that it's not easy for someone to, to have when they wanted to publish a book, they they probably need to work with an editor. Am I am I saying yeah. that correctly? What I did the first time I put a book together is I worked with an editor. It cost me a couple thousand dollars the first time, you know, okay. and it was a fiction editor. But the gal really helped me um, put the book together and to put my words together, put my sentences right, edit it. Um, she she basically taught me how to write fiction. And okay. It was really, really a neat thing, but everybody should use some type of an editor. And the, the, the easiest thing is to use a program called Grammarly or something like that. So at least your spelling and punctuation errors are taken care of. But okay. it's always nice to, you know, what I say is find an English teacher that you know and show them the book before you publish and have them go through it. Find three or four people to read it, become your beta readers, have them read it before you, you know, you click the publish button. And um, that's, that's a good way. That's what I do anymore. Yeah. So. And so, so why do you think people really need to consider having a published book for their business? You know, that, that gives you credibility that you okay. know what you're speaking about, especially if it's published and it's listed on Amazon, which is, pretty straightforward to do anymore. It used to be really difficult to get a book published, but anymore with the online publishing, I, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it's doable for the average person. There's just a lot of steps and okay. a lot of um, <clears throat> things that the average person needs to kind of go through to, to do it. So it's nice to talk to somebody who's already done it or take an online course in it possibly, or just get a book on how to publish your you know your own book so okay you know if you're if you're a halfway decent writer you can probably write it but then it's getting it laid out correctly and it depends on if it's an ebook or a published book if it's published if it's on paper it's a lot more difficult because you have to work with the margins and the page numbers and the format the size there's a lot of issues that come up with it but if you if you start with an ebook an ebook, the the ebook software automatically formats it, so it's much easier, and you actually make more money with an ebook than you would a a, a paper book. So, like um, 
on Amazon, let's say, let's say I, I printed a book, say maybe mm -hmm. 80 or 100 pages, and I sold it for $2.99. Now, if, if I sold a book for $2.99, an ebook for $2.99, on Amazon, I would make 70% of the royalties. So I would make basically $2 on a $3 book. So that's pretty good. Whereas if I published it in paper, that same book I would have to sell for eight or ten dollars, and I would only probably make about a dollar on it because Amazon, the, the publishing cost, what Amazon takes from it, um, you just make a lot more money with an ebook than you would uh, a paper book. It's nice to have the paper book and it's nice to do both, but I, for people who want to do a book, if you can get away with an ebook first, that's a neat way to go. Oh, that's that's good. That's a good advice. Now, how long does it take normally to uh, publish a book? Well, I mean, from the from the start to finish. Yeah. Well, let's say you were you were writing a full a full length, say, novel or, or you know, how to book, you know, 200 pages or something. I find that it takes about a year and, and to six months to to write it, another three or four months to edit it and get it lined up right then you finally push the publish button it goes live you get your copies back you look at it and then you got to market it and a book is only as good as your marketing so um, that's really 90 percent of the whole battle is marketing the book to get it out to people so even what people don't realize is even professional um, writers that write books that you see in the bookstores you know, the publishers do very little marketing anymore. So it, it comes down to having good online presence and knowing someone like Marie Waite that <laughs> you know, can help you market your, pro your, your property because that's what it actually comes down to. Because you put a book up on Amazon, it's great, it's on Amazon, but nobody's going to buy it until, you know, okay. you promote it and people can find it. So, so this is actually an amazing uh, information, John, that you shared in terms of people publishing uh, their own book. And I know you also have done some presentation on cash flow branding. I remember you did an amazing presentation on that. And you're also now a photographer and you're doing all this branding and you're also an expert in YouTube. So um, tell me more about the YouTube uh, concept because I know you've been, you've been working on that too. Yeah. You know, I've been really looking at putting together a YouTube channel. And okay. you know, I, I was a blogger for a number of years, over 15 years now. Oh and, yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, you know, blogging is, it, the whole written word is kind of gone away. I wouldn't say that it's dead, but you know, blogging is nice. It's a nice place for people to go, but people are really looking for things they can consume quickly. And so either podcasts and or video, and video is number one. And so if, if I'm looking at doing something anymore, if I wanted to learn how to publish a book, I would go to YouTube and say, book publishing, and show me how to put this together. Show me how to do this. And there's a lot of people that put those step-by-step -step videos together. The problem with any kind of digital media like that, it's like publishing a book. You start at zero, and okay. you've got to be able to get the word out so there's, there's like three things that you need to do. One, you need quality content. You need content that people would be interested in. And that's probably the easiest for most people to do. It's like, oh yeah, I know about this and I know how to show people how to do it. So I can create a video of, you know, like if I was a woodworker, here's how I make a bird birdhouse. Here's how to uh -huh. put the pieces together. Here's what you need. And you buy my kit, here, you, here's how you put it together, let's do it on the video. And so you have a 15 minute video showing how it's done. And so that's pretty simple. So you put the video together, then you've got to be able to put the keywords and be able to launch it out to people. But then you've got to be consistent because you can't just put one video up, you've got to have multiple videos. And so let's say you put up a video a week. That's, that's probably the minimum if you really want to have a YouTube channel that's 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 going to be popular yeah and you do I'm that i'm actually for a doing that now uh john <laughs> i've been <laughs> putting yeah. videos in uh in my youtube account yeah and you have to do it for about three years before you get much of <laughs> the way oh, really <laughs> that's the problem with 
with so many of the things that let's say the first year, the first year you might get a hundred to 500 followers. The second year you might get maybe three or 4,000. And all of a sudden the third year, all of a sudden you hit a hundred thousand because okay. it just, it multiplies. So, but and, as long as you're consistent, right? Consistent. Yeah. It's consistency. And then making sure that you find, have an audience that's interested in your particular product or service or your information, you know, but what I found with YouTube and or podcasting or brand or blogging, it's really easy to do for two or three months. It's really hard to do for a year. It's harder to do for two years. And it's really hard to get out to that third year and yeah. where you actually start getting traction and start going. And most people just, it's just really tough. And yes. because it, you get, it starts off so slow and it goes a little faster and then all of a sudden, boom. It, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I followed so many different YouTube channels and watched their curves and they're like this. And some of those, that flat part might be two, three, four years. All of a sudden they get something that works and it, it starts to take off. Yeah. So. It's actually, I was uh, learning more about it and they're talking about Google AdSense that you have to sign up for that. Yeah. Yeah. And really, and, and that really doesn't come into play till about the second or third year when you have enough traffic to make that worth worthwhile. I see. And you might make a penny or two on each view or maybe not even a penny. Um, so when you start getting, say, 10,000 views or 100,000 views or a million views, then you actually get some income from that. But, you know, where YouTube really takes off is, is all of a sudden when you have a, a, a channel that gets 100,000 views and people start paying attention to you okay. and they start offering you other products and things to, to review and to work with. So, um, but okay. I, well, I think what you're doing, you know, obviously some of the things that you've done, you know, it's just, it's, it's focusing and then just staying consistent for that two or three years. And yeah. it's, it's tough for a lot of people to do that. So. Yes. Well, for me, I, I'm yeah. doing it more to provide educational uh, information for people that they can use while they're at home, uh, especially yeah. now. And, you know, just trying to give them some ideas how they can be creative or yeah. innovative about things. Like, you know, you were talking about photography. Um, I've seen other photographers where they were being very creative in terms of showing their uh, services they would be inside their house and they're showing several tips on how to change the look of a, a specific you know angle and so it's it's really interesting how uh, they're marketing their business in terms of photography which is you know you're you're doing uh, cash flow branding that includes different aspects of uh, branding so can you share some more information about the cash flow branding because I know that was an incredible incredible program that you have yeah the, the whole idea, um, you know, on, on the cash flow end of things is to be able to put a brand out and to get, um, you know, enough traction where you're, you're creating, you know, uh, a product and or service that brings in some money over a time period. And, um, it, you know, each year, you know, you start off the beginning of the year and you might go to a, uh, a, a conference to see what is working that particular year, seeing how products and services and, and how, which, which area to be able to share them on to where that you're getting people to come back and buy your particular product. And the whole idea is to get people to, to buy, you know, whatever service it is. If you're printing a book, if you're writing, doing videos, or you're doing a video series. I've worked with a number of people that have done video series and, and okay. so you'll put together a series on how to put something together versus a YouTube channel. And then they come in and they buy your, your video collection, say for $50 or $100, $200. Um, I worked with a guy named Michael Hyatt who had put together one on basically how to set goals. He sold it for $197 and it was five videos. And it was basically, you watched a video a day for a week. So it was five days. You call it the five days to the best year of your life. 
the whole idea was you watch the five videos, you put them into practice, and then you could set goals and really take take off. Well, I but was did they did they publish that in YouTube when they create those series of videos, uh, or is it in their website? I mean, how does how does yeah, that work? Yeah, basically you have to have it behind a paywall. So wherever you store them, you know, probably on Vimeo or some other service like that. I see. But you know, people sign up for it, they pay money, then they get the password to be able to go in and, and watch the okay. videos. But like in his particular case, um, just to give you an idea of, of how those things go, we I was on his launch team when he launched it, and we launched it mid mid-December and he had it for three weeks and the first year he launched it he did three million dollars in three wow. weeks of people buying videos on basically how to set smart goals and it, it was yes. an interesting thing because the it wasn't some revolutionary new thing it was just his insight on how to set goals and you know for two hundred dollars people bought it and he, he had a clever marketing and he, he worked with other people. The second year he did it, he brought in some other people that had large email lists and he put it out to those lists and he did, I don't know, about $5 million worth of sales the wow. second, third year. Cause so somehow he you had, had to pay other people a commission to do it. So I see. But so there's some sort know. of affiliation to make it work. Yeah. So the whole idea is to develop a product that's, um, that you can put out and that is selling while you're sleeping. You know, that people yeah. see it, it's marketed and, you know. But now do you, um, do you provide service in helping them how to create the cash flow branding? Yeah, you know, at, at this time, I really, I really haven't, you know, put those kind of things together currently, but okay. we're looking at, do, once things get back together, we're looking at really putting some branding together and really help people my focus going forward is to help people brand themselves to not to either build their business and or to get a job. You know, the, yes. there's going to be so many people that have lost their business and or their job. They really need to put a personal brand together to be able to, to go. Exactly. Out. I, I truly believe that because they have to be very proactive in uh, reaching yeah. out people and then they have to be ready with yeah. their information that would uh, impress or, you know, uh, land a job. Right. Yeah, because it's it's you know obviously it's going to be be tough. There's going to be there's going to be you know as quickly as we've come down, I think we're going to quickly go ramp back up. You know, once things open up a little bit, but okay. um, there's going to be a lot of competition, and so the people that can market themselves in a in a good way and and to focus on that particular mm -hmm. job or service that they want to do. Okay. Pretty, well, pretty, really so, so John, if people are interested in learning more about the cash flow branding, or maybe uh, want to talk to you about the, your photography uh, branding, or even YouTube, <laughs> I mean, you have so many things here, like even publishing books or blogging. I mean, will they be able to reach you out uh, for that? Yeah, we're we're, we're going to put together a um, a new website, and it's it basically it's called brandhired.com. Okay. And um, it, we currently, I currently have a basic site up, but that's that's where we're going. Is the idea of uh, being able to uh, come in and and put together a nice personal brand from a resume to a one sheet, all the way down. So that's what we're looking at. It's just it's not ready to go yet, but that's what we're looking okay. at. Okay. But they can they can still um, call you. If yeah. they if they wanted to work with you on any of your um, yeah, and I have contact information on brandhired.com, so they, okay. they can find me. So they can go there now and yeah. and get all the information. So that's brandhired.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's amazing. I mean, I know uh, that you do more than what we talked about, and it was just really uh, good that we got to talk, John. And thank you again for taking this time. I I think you know what you have done for uh, branding, it's, it's incredible. And I'm excited to even learn more about, about it uh, myself. And maybe we should have another call just for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, now it's just a, it's a, it's a tough time for people, but this thing's going to get over and it's going to, I think for a lot of people, um, now's a great time to prepare 
and to to go out and get that job and or business that you really want so okay well so to all of you out there who's watching this video uh be sure to connect with john richardson uh again i i I can tell you right now that he is going to be a great asset and a resource for you, uh, for your business and for whatever you're planning in the future. So definitely connect with John Richardson. Anyway, John, thank you so much uh, for your time. Again, so nice to uh, have you um, have you uh, taken the time to talk to me. And I hope we can schedule another time again. Okay. All right. Sounds great. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you so much. And right. we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye. Okay.